Pachinko is about the times when Korea was ruled by Japan. The colonization period was from 1910 to 1945, when hundreds of thousands of Koreans moved to Osaka in search of a better life. They naively thought they could easily penetrate into Japanese society, but they were wrong. They were constantly scrutinized by Japanese police and were the last to be hired and the first to be fired. When Korea declared independence in 1945, the situation became even worse for Korean residents in Japan. They suddenly became stateless foreigners overnight. Some returned to Korea, but many could not leave Japan because they had no home in Korea and their children's native language was Japanese. But they were not given Japanese citizenship. No matter how long you lived in Japan, even you were a third generation immigrant, you still had to remain as an eternal foreigner residing in Japan. To make matters worse, Koreans in Japan could not get decent jobs because of their nationality and background. Pachinko, the Japanese national pastime, was one of the only means through which Koreans could climb up the social ladder and gain financial security. A number of Koreans in Japan began working at pachinko parlors and later became managers or owners of these parlors. Pachinko is the story across four generations of a Korean family who moved to Japan during the Japanese occupation of Korea. Of course, pachinko is a story of the past. Things have changed now. I have a lot of Japanese friends and the writer of the novel, Yi Min Jin's husband is half Japanese and her son is quarter Japanese. Even though Koreans are hurt by history of colonization, they mingle into the global society with Japanese people and even form families with them. And as Yi Min Jin says, it's silly to say all Japanese people are evil just because they have a colonial history. But what is evil is dishonesty about one's history. And yet the Japanese government is still being dishonest. They do not admit their faults of the past, inclusive of military sex slaves. Future governments inherit the debts of past governments, whether they be financial or moral. And that is why Germans admit and always apologize for the wrongdoings of Nazis to the Jews. As Yi Min Jin says, we are not in a position to forgive on behalf of all Koreans. But if Japanese are honest about history, we can begin to consider reconciliation.